Hello, and welcome back. Mark 7. The Pharisees and some of the teachers of the law who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus and saw some of his disciples eating food with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. The Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they give their hands a ceremonial washing, holding to the tradition of the elders. When they, come for, uh, when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash, and they observe many other traditions, such as the washing of cups, pitchers, and kettles. So the Pharisees and teachers of the law asked Jesus, Why don't your disciples live, in, uh, live according to the tradition of elders instead of eating their food with defiled hands? He replied, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you hypocrites, as it is written, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain, their teachings are merely human rules. You have let go of the commands of God and are holding on to human traditions. And he continued, You have a fine way of setting aside the commands of God in order to observe your own traditions. For Moses said, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their father and mother is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is Corbin, that is, devoted to God, then you no longer let them do anything for their father or mother. Thus you nullify the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down, and you do many things like that. Again Jesus called the, uh, called the crowd to him and said, Listen to me, everyone, and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. After he had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about this parable. Are you so dull? he asked. Don't you see that nothing that enters a person from the outside can defile them? For it doesn't go into their heart, but into their stomach, and then out of the body. In saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. He went on, What comes out of a person is what defiles them. For it is from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come. Sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, and folly. All of these evils come from inside and defile a person. Jesus left that place and went to the vicinity of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know it, yet he could not keep his presence secret. In fact, as soon as she heard about him, a woman whose little daughter was possessed by an impure spirit came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, born in Syrian Phoenicia. She begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. First let the children eat all they want, he told her, for it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Lord, she replied, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he told her, For such a reply, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. She went home and found her child lying on the bed, and the demon gone. Then Jesus left the vicinity of Tyre and went through Sidon, down through the Sea of Galilee and into the region of the Decapolis. There some people brought to him a man who was deaf and hard, could hardly talk, and they begged Jesus to place his hand on him. After he took him aside, away from the crowd, Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears. Then he spit and touched the man's tongues. He looked up to heaven, and with a deep sigh said to him, Ephatha, which means, be opened. At this, the man's ears were opened, and his tongue was loosened, and he began to speak plainly. Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone. But the more he did so, the more they kept talking about it. People were overwhelmed with amazement. He has done everything well, they said. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. May God bless the reading of his word. Alright, so. Last time, I headed north along the western area and found a region that was way too hard for me. So then I headed east. And that basically sums up where we're sitting. <laughs> Hey, Emily! So, from what I can gather, the Stony Cliff Titan lies, uh, likes to lurk somewhere in this rocky area. I had a look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up high on a cliff or something? Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky, so don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search it out somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map app a look if you're feeling stumped? It's pretty handy. Where is he? Oh, all the way over there, huh? Okay. 
Sure. But, uh... There's other stuff around me. So... Been an act. Insect Pokemon. Its eyes act as a radar, enabling it to be active in darkness. The eyes can also shoot powerful beams. I don't know what type it is, and Harden did not help. Uh, I'll just go with Head. No, that's gonna kill it. I'll check Pokeballs until I have a better idea what it is. Or I can just chuck both walls. Done. Cloth. Ambush Pokemon. It's a rock type. Ah. This Pokemon lives on sheer cliffs. It sidesteps opponent's attacks, then lunges for their weak spots with its claws. Puppy Pokemon. It's very friendly and faithful to people. It will try to repel enemies by barking and biting. Is that... that has to be it. Yep. Hello. It's probably just rock type. Plop, the stony cliff titan. Indeed it is. Um, wow. I'm a little overprepared for this.
find it. <laughs> The Titan Cloth began eating something. Emily, you found it? And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan? No, no cloth has any business being that big. Is it gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, Emily. Well, considering I took it down with one water gun before, I think I'll be fine. Well, this is looking a little rough. Shelter, let's serve up a helping of defeat on the half shell. Yeah, it is stronger now, but not by a whole lot. It basically used Shell Smash, but with its ability. I defeated the Titan Cloth. That was very easy. All right, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are, geesh, I sure don't want to have, uh, I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. That was very easy. I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica that Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. I'm not really all that concerned about it coming back. <laughs> if we're lucky, there will be another herb here. Knew it! Really is here. This is one of the herbs, make no mistake. Sweet Herba Mystica. Woohoo! We did it! Thanks, Emily. Now then, let's see. What does the book we have <laughs> have to say? It has it says here that the sweet herba mystica is good for gut health and that it aid, helps aid digestion. Says it's great for stomach aches too, or when you want to stimulate uh, stimulate the old appetite. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. <sighs> well, what are we waiting for, Emily? It's time to dig in. Let me wait, uh, whip up something for us. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan Badge, as a token of my gratitude, of course. Come on, you again? Here you go. 
Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. He knew this was coming. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely, absolutely did not make extra so that Mariadon could have a sandwich, okay? You should come to expect it, buddy. Oh, we can dash now. Did it grow stronger again? Man, these Urban Mystica really do patch a, pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they better, or else I'm really up the creek. Don't you dare touch that! That isn't for you! Oh, uh, sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Emily. Oh, hey, we're getting lore! Come out, come on out, bud. This is Mavistiff. My partner. I'm a boss stiff, I guess. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Well, you know, take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. Our buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Have you tried a Pokemon Center? They said this wasn't any regular old injury or illness. But boss stiff here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. Nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Urban Mystica. That book, what is it? I found it in my dad's lab. That's the Violet book. Urban Mystica, Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We, ob we dubbed them Urban Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokémon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokémon. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody usually believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Urban Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mavistiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you didn't eat any, bud? Hey, Mavistiff, can, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it! It's... it's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I... I'm so... I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing! I knew the book wasn't lying! I'm gonna bring my, uh, my boss stiff back to full health, I swear it. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them. Together. Aww.
Hello, Emily. This is Toro. I detect that Maridon has regained more of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Now you can have Maridon dash ahead by pressing the left stick, but watch out for trees when dashing at high speeds. If you strike a tree while dashing, Pokémon lurking up among the branches will fall down, allowing you to battle, uh, battle them. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Maridon. I haven't already been to this one, have I? No, I haven't. You know what's funny is I could just drop in. But I'm pretty sure they wouldn't really like that. Hmm. I'm gonna see what happens if I do. <laughs> Back up, kid! You can't just casually waltz in here be like you're one of us stars that run the joint. If you want, it, if you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance and storm the base like a decent person. <laughs> and then it warps me back to the top of the cliff. Nice. Aha! Life do? Uh, no. Squawkabilly, parrot Pokemon. Green plumage. Green feathered flocks hold, <laughs> hold the most sway. When they're out searching for food in the mornings and evenings, it gets very noisy. Yeah. I have a yellow one, I'll catch the red one. This is Baie style. This form of Orcorio has zipped red nexter. It whips up blazing flames as it moves to the sips, uh, steps of its passionate dance. Conyard! Shark Blade Pokemon. Any chips in its blades would prove fatal for it. After each battle, it diligently maintains its blades using its favorite sharpening stone. Kamala, Drowsing Pokemon. A potent anesthetic can be made by diluting Kamala's drool. This anesthetic was used for surgeries in the past. Puppet! Puppet Pokémon! It feeds on the dark emotions of sadness and hatred, which make it grow steadily stronger. Hiya, Emily! It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time! Again! What a weird coincidence. 
It's almost like you're programmed that way. I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie in wait and go, Oh, wow, weird, might as well battle you now that you're here. Oh, seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. Much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokémon! They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. Add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. Ethers. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train, like, maybe 20 Pokémon or so while you tackle the, uh, tackle the gym. There's lots of students passing through here these days. Has the treasure hunt started? It has. When I took on this gym with my Quaxley, I got destroyed, but I'll win with my Growlithe, right? This is the grass type. Welcome to the Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Emily, yes? Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Brassius, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embodies these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the Sunflora located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokémon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up ten of them and bring them to the Sunflora lawn, and you pass the test. I'll register, I'll register the Sunflora lawn's location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staffer there will tell you more about the gym test. Now get out there and have fun. I sure hope I don't have to catch Tin Sunflora. Hi there! I look after the Artisan Gem Sunflora. I hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Sounds like the Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you've found 10 Sunflora, please, uh, please bring them back here to the Sunflora's lawn. That's all for me now. Good luck out there. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be fun. I just have to run around town and gather some flora? Okay, fine. I'd count out loud, but it's literally on a banner at the top of the screen, so... I had a feeling. <clears throat> I hope it doesn't cause the game to lag too much. Having ten Pokemon following me around. Ah, an academy kid. Yeah, can, can you tell?
Blossoming Infinity, a work by an unknown artist. Bling. I came to see this famous piece. I can't say I really get it, but I like it. Looks like a portal. If you get worn out, try stopping for a breather. You might notice things you didn't before. I think there's more than 10 of these Sunflora around town. Time to bring them to Sunflora Lawn. There's definitely more than 10 of these scattered around town. Well done on finding all these Sunflora! You passed the gym test with flying colors! Now please head back to the lobby at the Artisan Gym to report your result. I like the way that they use uh, the towns themselves as part of the gym here, uh, as part of the gyms in this game instead of uh, having massive structures. It seems you successfully gathered 10 Sunflora and brought them over to the Sunflora lawn. That means you've cleared the gym test. Congratulations! You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Brassius, the verdant virtuoso? Yes. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Greetings, Challenger! Humph! You did well to come this far! I am Brassius, an artist specializing in the grass-type Pokémon. I am also the gym leader here at Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in finding the uh, Sunflora was truly... Oh, how shall I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. I trust that you are ready. It is time for our masterpiece to take shape. Gym Leader Brassius has a Petalil!
Art is creation and destruction. Struggle, else your defeat will nourish my Pokémon. Smoliv. Hmm, I don't really have anything per particularly good. I guess I'll send out Deerling. So I know what he's going to do with it. I don't have anything that's good against pure grass, so I'll just send out Dreadnought. This has promise! Yes! Let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once! Allow me to touch this work up slightly. I will call it... Truly Wudo! At times, art becomes a race against the clock. Let us increase the pace. That's a new move. It's double super. It really didn't do much, though. <laughs> On guard. Oh, what artistic tactics you employ! The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokémon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection! Our battle was, in a word, art! Indeed, if we could not call that, wor uh, that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes of my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? If you possess two gym badges, it will be easier to catch Pokémon of up to level 30, and those Pokémon should follow your commands as well. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would also like to offer this, a favorite of mine. Trailblaze. Trailblaze. The user attacks suddenly as if leaping out from a tall, uh, from tall, gla uh, tall grass. The user's nimble footwork boosts its speed stat. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin a new piece at, uh, on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. Pardon me, would you be the Emily I've been hearing so much about? Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the Academy. Yes, indeed. Ah, oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I'm one of the Elite Four of the Pokémon League. Oh! 
I also teach art classes at the Academy. So, do tell me, young Emily, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? I want to get stronger, my friend asked me to. I want to find my treasure for fun, I guess? Uh, I want to be allowed to get stronger. Because my Pokémon won't listen to me if they're too high of level. <laughs> asked and answered. Thank you. Actually, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great creator of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all Paldean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You would be wise to train hard starting now. It will, sa it, it will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. Going through the front gate like a normal person. And it just warped me down there, okay. Ah, it's you, Emily. Clive? Yep, that's me. Clive, the normal academy student. Anyway, Emily, I, lo I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Oh, why did you join? I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star, and what's causing its members' odd behavior? Odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling about the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the Academy. But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that, that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students aff affiliated with their team. I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice be between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. It's Cassiopeia, can you hear me? Uh, another time then. Be careful. I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? No, buddy. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Are you sure about that? Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Okay, Applin's a pretty poor choice, so I'm gonna move around my Pokémon a bit. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to the Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick-like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense, you get me? I'm not turning back. Well, alright. Time for me to self-defense the snot right out of ya!
Team Star Grunt as a Houndour. I totally forgot about this part. Otherwise, I wouldn't have killed him first, but whatever, it's fine. Rock Team, goodbye. Dearling got a move. Energy Ball. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, over Bullet Seed. I defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Tell me, Emily. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. A Salafi Star! Hey, Emily! Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but it se uh, but seems you're all set. What? Well. Is that you, Charlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? This is Charlos, the Char Cadet. It's one of the Pokémon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Ah, Charlos, wait! He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I had better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press in ahead into the base, Emily. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shedder Squad. Their boss, Mela, is uh, the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her, her grunts are hard at work inside the base trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela uh, keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell with, on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shedder Squad off the map. Am I ready to char uh, challenge the first thing in Pokemon in your party? Yes. That's why I rearranged my Pokemon. Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads, and now she thinks she can take us on. Time to give her the boot, gang. Let's show this Gatecrasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gatecrasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. You go. And you. Have fun. Sitting out curly against that group. Oh. 
That was very fast. I had 10 minutes, I took just over one. <laughs> Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Boss of Team Star's fire crew, Mela. Or Mela. I don't know. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. She has quick balls. We got a Torkoal first. Right here, right now, you're going down. Doesn't have white smoke. That was for the rest of the Shadow Squad. You're gonna have to do better than that. And now her Revit Room. I ain't burned to his crisp just yet. I'm sure this thing is Dark Steel. It is not. And of course it has speed boost. That's fun. Ugh, is this really gonna ha uh, how it's gonna end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve. That ought to be enough power to, uh, to power the Starmobile and finally get the hunk of metal rolling. <laughs> Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Don't shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerk, you know that? As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Orty. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. 
What? Come on, not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What, prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked him to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That dreadnought of yours really let us have it. Yes, it has. <laughs> it's, it's extremely powerful. Beating me in battle is a huge deal. So here, take the star badge and be proud of yourself. Oh, she's squeezing my hand too hard. <laughs> That's what that is. While I'm at it, you can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge. Looking itself in flame, the user attacks the target, then building up momentum, the user boosts his speed stat. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these thing hey, these to you. I'm giving to, uh, I'm giving them to your dreadnought. Sure, Dreadnought can use the Flame Charge TM. Sure. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? A Charcadet? Wait. Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? Seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? <laughs> you did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Carlos. To me, it looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? I see Team Star has held it up itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. And what about the modified car you were motoring out, uh, around in just now? Starmobile? Oh, we made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. Never used it before? What's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Star Fall? This is the first I'm hearing of it. Huh. Uh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of the Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Emily? It's me. I take it that Mel's star badge is now in your possession? See? Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shedder Squad shouldn't last long. Mela. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer your uh, some LP over to your phone, as promised. And I can make more t kinds of TMs. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials, too. H Hello, it's me again, from the supply unit. What? What the heck? Hey, stop that! Somebody help!
Ugh, it drew it all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome. Uh, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Um, but before I forget, here's a reward. Um, your name's Emily, right? Since you're a part of Operation Starfall's Battle Unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? Uh... Well, I was thinking of an emo a more emotional response, but in terms of these things, I'm going to say they're not all that. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to, uh, to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. I also found, some talk, uh, found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm, I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Mariani, Brutal Star Pokemon. It has excellent regenerative capabilities. Legs that a Mariani have lost have a very bitter, astringent flavor. They're not suitable as food. Tadiursa, little bear Pokemon. Its paws are soaked in oodles of honey. When nervous, Tadiursa will lick its paws and soon have a smile back on its face. Seven, there we go. Loaded Dice, an item to be held by a Pokemon. This loaded dice always rolls a good number, and holding one can ensure that the holder's multi-strike moves hit more times. Ooh! That is an interesting new item! That is interesting. It's basically like giving your Pokemon skill link, I bet. Which ensures that it hits the maximum number of times. Oh, Griever! I saw it earlier, but it was level 40, so I didn't fight it. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs>
Freebird, Ghost Dog Pokemon. This friendly Pokemon doesn't like being alone. Pay it even the slightest bit of attention, and it will follow you forever. Brown grass. Okay. I had a feeling that grass was going to be one of the types. What are your Pokemon? Oh, it looks like Tentacool. Toad School is a completely different species. It's like it may be thin, but it can run at a speed of 30 miles per hour. Hoppips evolving. Skiploom, Cottonweed Pokemon. When the weather grows cold, Skiploom's flower closes and the Pokemon cannot photosynthesize, so it flies away to warmer regions. Only level 10, so perfectly fine being here. Although I believe that's a Pokemon League building. Yeah! <laughs> I'm making my way to the Pokemon League. Let's battle to mark the occasion. Jackson the student. As a meow. Well, losing's one way to mark an occasion. I don't have any gym badges yet, but maybe I'll sit for the interview and see if I pass anyway. Taking on the league. You look like you've got promise, kid. Let's give you a challenge to grow on. Tabby Paco. That's a crocodile. Oh boy, I'm not prepared for this one. Yeah! Okay, hi. Um, can I retreat? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Ooh, mimic you! And down it goes. Ah, I worked so hard on that one. At least it's not like it's the only mimic you around here. 
Come on, I saw another one earlier. Well, there was another one. Here we go. Magnemite, magnet Pokemon. It moves while constantly hovering. It discharges electromagnetic waves and so on from the units at its sides. Astounding! You have a Terra Orb, do you? I haven't ever used it, but yes I do. Rosario the Student. As an Oricario. Fast. This is fire flying, so if I have any rock type moves, that'll be great. Uh, I do on the dunce bars. Yay! Poison Fang. I mean, I can't poison it because it's paralyzed, but hey. Ow. I don't see this going too well. Yeah. Unless this thing just keeps using Roar, I'm probably not going to take down any more Pokemon. Oh boy. This is grand.
Ow. That's fine. Yay. It seems that's where we sit. Uh, not, not in a pretty spot. But, uh, That's going to close it for today. So, when we come back next time, I'm going to see if I can get another, uh, get a Mimic you over there, and otherwise, uh, I guess we're moving forward with my rather underleveled team. Hey, it's just lose until I get a better team, is how it works. So, hey, maybe we'll do okay. <laughs> maybe. So that's going to be all for today. So, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you next time.